I'm Rachel Sloan, Assistant Curator of Works on Paper at the Courtauld Gallery. What we're looking at here are a print and a drawing by Edouard Manet, made at the same year that he painted his infamous uh, Luncheon on the Grass. Um, they are both called La Toilette, or the bath. Now we tend to think of Manet as both the father of the Impressionists and as something of uh, an art artistic bad boy, but he was also an extremely astute student of the history of art. One artist whom he particularly admired was Rembrandt. Crucially, Rembrandt was also one of the first artists to make etching, and Manet, as one of the main figures in the revival of the technique of etching in Paris in the mid-19th century, naturally turned to Rembrandt to make one of his first etchings. The subject is derived from a subject that Rembrandt um, addressed many times, that is of Susanna, surprised by the elders at her bath although Manet has removed it from its uh, biblical context and simply pre presents it as a female bather surprised half-dressed um, with her maidservant in the background. We also see Manet's uh, admiration for Rembrandt not only in his choice of subject matter but in terms of his uh, very skillful manipulation of large areas of black which is a very tricky color to work with in an etching and also in the great uh, freedom of his, um, his um, pen work. Um, he actually um, would have made the drawing on the etching plate with a needle drawing through a wax ground, but um, that allowed him a great deal of freedom. And you can see, especially in the hatching around the woman's legs, how, how quickly he was able to draw. Now, because this is a drawing rather than a print, it allowed Manet considerable freedom to experiment with the composition before he transferred it to the plate. If we, if we look at the, the drawing under magnification, we can see that he incised the outlines of the female bather with a needle and was able to transfer it directly onto the plate. Thus, both figures are perfect mirror images of each other. He's chosen to use red chalk, which was a favored drawing medium in the 16th, 17th, and 18th centuries. Now, although La Toilette expresses Manet's admiration for the art of the past, and especially for the art of Rembrandt, neither the drawing nor the print is a straightforward homage to the past. In Rembrandt's paintings and drawings of Susanna and the Elders or of female bathers, the women always avert their gazes. They never look out of, the, out of the picture. Yet if we look at both the drawing and the print, we see the surprised bather is looking directly out at us, the viewer, she is confronting us. And in that sense, La Toilette is a thoroughly modern print. <laughs>